What's up YouTube? Farmer Son Prepping here. Hope y'all are having a good day. I'm out here charging batteries. Uh, both of my my drill and my impact were both dead yesterday, so uh, my extra batteries I'm charging up. I charged those two yesterday. And I thought while I was out here today, uh, kind of cool, kind of the wind blowing and everything else it's time to get the tools out you know what i'm saying let me show you what i'm looking at and uh all everything down so by tools obviously i mean all kinds of tools you know my hatchet my e-tool this part down here where the paint's rubbed off it needs to be old a little bit pocket knives this thing here was full of trash I blew it out. We're going to oil it up as well. So, you know, obviously AR parts, handgun parts, uh, all kind of tools. Let me set you back where I had you, I think. It was that, that way. So, uh, that's what we're talking about today. I typically like to have a little small piece, and I just use t shirt Ripped up t-shirts seem to work just great for oil and stuff. I like to have a small piece to apply my oil with. And then a big piece to kind of dry it off with. Basically, you know, you want to leave a sheen of oil on just about everything. Keep it from rusting. Uh, start out with the hatchet here. And, uh, it's just a, I just thought it would be a good day to make a video about... Uh, Maintaining your tools and stuff. Hope y'all are doing well today. Sorry about my old creaky floor. It creaks every time I move. Makes a little bunch of racket. But, uh, good just to leave a good sheen of oil on everything. And after I get done applying it, we swap out to the bigger t-shirt piece and uh, kind of wipe off the excess anybody that's a gun owner pretty much knows what the drill is but uh you know you don't see enough videos like this on YouTube that one's good uh, so I thought I would do one e-tool basically I took a uh, wire brush and uh, got all the dirt off of it and everything, especially in these little grooves. Y'all can see there's some little grooves right there where it's supposed to be used for a saw or whatever. So I'm going to take and, uh, all this stuff down right here real good. Anywhere where there's metal showing really could use a good oil in. It's dripping off. Should have just screwed the thing down. Probably a little bit easier. Good to uh, good to get that done and take care of it. This thing here was already starting to rust a little bit, so I'm getting this one just in the nick of time. I didn't really see the rust till I sprayed the oil on there, and then you could really kind of you can kind of see the, the rust on there. So uh, need to take care of your tools, and your tools will take care of you. That's what I've always been taught. My dad, you know, that's something my dad always said. A little shot right there. Around them bolts. Get her all oiled up. So, it's cold today. Uh, today is Friday. I don't know what, it's in January 2024. Uh... I'm just going to leave a heavy sheen on this since it is a, a tool that gets the dirt a lot. So I'll call that done. Now I'm going to spray some oil in down inside this Swiss Army knife. This thing, it gets uh, 
Now y'all probably can't hear it, but it gets grungy. Like when you open and close the blade, it feels like it's grinding. So uh, I did blow a bunch of that mess out there. There's a bunch of dirt and stuff in here. Uh, so we're going to do that. Get my little applicator rag down in here and just kind of move that all around. Slip joints, you know. Any kind of knife needs to be old from time to time. Mainly just down in that part where all the dirt gets. And uh, a lot of times I end up with dirt in my pockets. Uh, you know, growing up here on a farm, living on a farm, helping dad. You know, I don't ever know what I'm going to be doing from one day to another. We could be driving fence posts, putting up fence, fencing, you know, that type of stuff. Oh, throw a little oil on these blades. Just a small little bit. Can opener. So it's always just, you know, it's good to remember anything that's metal especially needs to be maintained. Keep a good little thin coat of oil on it. not even going to spray none on these blades. All it needs is just a little thin coat. Which I've already got enough on this little applicator rag here to do that with. There's the saw. So this may be kind of a long video. I just figured it would be easy to do a video like this today while I'm doing this kind of stuff out in the shop today. Uh, Charging batteries and uh, my bat my fast chargers up here on the wall. So I'm charging batteries and I don't like to leave batteries on charge unattended. You know, for fire safety reasons and that kind of stuff. Uh, sounds better. Spray a little bit of oil on my rag here. That should be good as new. A lot of times your magazines, of course mine are painted to a degree, uh, but uh, where the if you have the real steel mags like these are, these are uh, these are the real steel kind. These are metal. Uh, where the paint, you know, I put a piece of tape here and where where it goes up in the gun and the paint doesn't, and you know, it doesn't cause problems. So it's good to take those and uh, put a little oil on these as well. If you know, if they're real steel, the mag pull, uh, you know, the uh, I won't say plastic, but that's not the right word. Anyway, the same type of stuff that's on the bottom of your Glock pistols, you know. I forget what they call it, but yeah, that stuff, you don't have to worry about it rusting. Uh, there's my old cold steel knife. It needs a little layer of uh, earl on it. I'll tell you what, our coyotes here trying to think about things to talk about. Sorry, y'all. Our coyotes here last night was going berserk. I don't know if it's coyote mating season or what, but it sounded like coyotes going wild down there last night. Ended up having to call the boys in. I was afraid, you know, because coyotes are pack animals, and I was afraid if they'd got enough of them, they'd probably took on my dogs last night. So I just brought them in. They were making all kind of racket. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what's going on with these coyotes around here, but, uh, man, making a lot of racket. This is my big knife right here. This is my Alabama toothpick. Check that bad boy out. I'm going to spray something on it. It's kind of big. Uh, 
Yeah, it's good to get your stuff out, blow any dirt off a little air compressor or out if it's like in that knife it was. Just leave it good. This knife here I rarely use, so I'm going to leave a pretty heavy coat of oil on it, put it back in its scabbard. Uh, if it was something I used on a daily basis, I would take my big rag right here and just kind of remove a lot of the excess, but I'm not going to lose I'm not going to do that for this one. This is the scabbard that goes in right here. Snap. This is a knife that my buddy made me. He's a bladesmith. He made this right in front of me, which is so cool. He made it out of a lawnmower blade. This part right here is where the lawnmower blade went on the, you know, the bolt. So uh, this I've used as a neck knife uh, from time to time. Spray some on there. That'll be enough for both sides right there. But you know. I'm assuming this is just some sort of tool steel, maybe D2 or high carbon. Now nah, man. So, you know, start out the new year right, get all your tools out. Get them all up. Because it's looking like we might need them, y'all. Sorry my face ain't in the picture there but I figured you just want to see what I'm doing for the most part there's the scabbard for this one Kydex for this bad boy wrong way listen for the click I like it Oh, that that goes on my handgun. We're gonna wipe it down. It's got metal parts on it. It gets dirt on it too, dust. Maybe it's time to charge this bad boy here. Huh? Because it ain't working. Yep, it needs a charge. So see, it's good to get out your stuff and do this. Otherwise, I would have thought that would have still... I need to charge that up. So that's another thing that needs charging. I ran a brush through this before I brought it out here. So basically I just need to put a little earl on it. Get that feed ramp good. take it back off I'd rather know there's maybe a little too much than not enough sometimes especially when it comes to a firearm now I can take this one it's a sunny day high of about 53 today clouds are moving in it's supposed to rain tonight the dogs are outside enjoying their outside time. Just going to run this spring through some oil on this rag right here. It ain't really got to be old, no whole bunch. 
Just the sand coat. How long is this video getting? Pretty long. Well, all right, y'all. I just want to make a video right here in the shed today. Let's see where we're at. 16 minutes. That's pretty long. So, uh, remember to get your tools out. All kinds of tools. You know, hatchets, pocket knives. Uh, I didn't bring my mower. I left my mower out. I have to go get it, too. God bless y'all for my prayers. Farmer's son prepping. And, uh, We'll check y'all later.